Welcome, my friends, to another episode of Aslan Speaks. I was inspired and called to do this video, and I wrote a little script, but I'm also going to try to let my intuition or my soul speak to you guys. Uh, this is, this uh, episode is going to be the secret recipe to life. The secret recipe to life, meaning lose the excuses, stop being fearful, and learn to manifest everything or anything into your life. Now, my friends, you got to stop the excuses. Stop being in a plate or in a place of fear. Stop being in that lack mentality. If you're watching this, this is confirmation that your dreams can come true. That your dreams can come true. But before I go any further, this I'm going to tell you this a warning. This is a warning because this video may trigger some of you. But if you, when you get triggered, it's because there's, your soul is trying to tell you something. The universe is trying to tell you something. Your higher self is trying to tell you something. But often when we get triggered, we get emotional or upset. We don't want to face those emotions or those triggers. So we run away and we try to put our attention or focus and ignore what we're feeling. But you have to look within yourself and start looking within what, why am I being triggered? Maybe because you're being triggered because there's parts of you that are unhealed. So listen to the end of this. Because this video may help you guys. I do this to help others. I, through my own experience and my own knowledge, I try to help share information or wisdom or insights with you so that you can be inspired, you can be uplifted, that you can become the best version of yourself. You know, if you clicked on this video, maybe it's the universe trying to tell you something, guys. Because I like to say that certain stuff or certain information doesn't come to you by accident. It comes to you when you're ready to listen, when you're ready to do the inner healing, when you, your consciousness, consciousness is awake enough to understand and comprehend what the message is, especially in this video. So nothing is more important in this life. Nothing is more important in this life than you then you becoming the greatest version of yourself. And it's up to you. Do you want to be the greatest version of yourself? Or do you don't want to? You want to stay in that complacency. You want to stay in the place of fear. It's up to you. You can choose to change your life. Nothing's more important to learn self-mastery. Self-mastery over your, your mind, body, and spirit. Learning to raise your vibrational frequency. When I talk about your vibrational frequency, look at it as a bat. You are a battery. When that battery is low, like let's say in your car, if you have a weak battery or a battery that is draining and just doesn't hold a charge very well, your car won't start. It doesn't get you to the places that you need to go because half the time your car is dead. But when you have a brand new battery or a positively charged battery or a battery that holds its, holds its charge, your car starts up and it takes you to the places that you need to go in life. And you got to view yourself, your vibrational frequency. Or you can look at it as a dim light or a bright light. When you have a dim light or dim energy or dim lower vibration, your path is not illuminated. You can't see where you're going because your light is very dim. And what you attract to you is more dimness, more negativity, more lower vibrational people or environments. But when you have a good positive vibration, your light is bright, it is vivid, it illuminates your path and you know where to go. You attract love, you attract the positive vibrational energies in people, places and environments. So is your battery low? Is your energy, your low, are you in a lower vibrational state? Or are you in a high vibrational state? And how to change your state or your vibration is be mindful of your words, actions, and deeds. 
Are they coming from a place of fear and excuses? Or is it in a place of gratitude and gratefulness and appreciation and positivity? It's up to you. When you begin to align with positivity, you become a magnet. Once you become a magnet, you attract things to you that are meant for you. But when you're in a lower state of vibration, you're not magnetic. You don't draw things to you. You actually, it's reverse. It repels things from you. You got to become magnetic. And then once you become magnetic, because you see that with certain people, like everything just falls into place for them. They get that perfect partner. They get that dream house. They get that dream uh, car. They get that wealth. They are confident. You're like, what's so special about them? Because they raised their vibrational frequency. They became in alignment with their higher self and chose to walk the path that, of alignment or self-mastery. And they just are a magnetic and then they, everything just falls into place for them. For those who are not magnetic, everything falls out of place for you. So nothing's more important in this life. Nothing's more important in this life than you becoming what you came to this world to become. Meaning, finding your authentic self. And becoming that divine being that you are. In order to do this, you got to lose the excuses. You have to stop living in pity. You got to stop living in shame and guilt. You got to stop dwelling on the past, on your, your past failures, and your past mistakes. You have to stop playing that victim card or that poor pitiful me act. Stop playing that victim card or that poor pitiful me act. I'm going to tell you a secret, my friends. I'm not lucky. I didn't get a nice house or become a three times published author by accident. I didn't become successful by accident. I didn't become this positive magnetic person by accident. I learned that I had to become magnetic. I learned I had to raise my vibrational frequency, meaning Thinking positive thoughts, doing positive actions, doing positive deeds, being confident of who I am. I learned that I create my reality. I'm going to repeat that. I learned that I create my reality. So through my actions, through my deeds, I make myself successful. And I also, I put in the hard work. When I say your words, thoughts, and actions create your reality, well, actions mean putting in the work. Often, most people don't want to put in the hard work. You know, there's a mountain in your life, so to speak, and you walk maybe 100 feet, and you're like, it's too tough. Or you go back to the poor, pitiful me, or you make excuses, and then you're stuck at the bottom of that mountain in life. Me, I choose to be on top of that mountain. Even when I get up 100 feet and it's difficult, or I face hardships or challenges. I push through them and I just put in the work. I put in that action to climb that top of that mountain. And when I'm on that top of the mountain, I'm, I'm untouchable. I am successful. I am magnetic. I'm the king of my world, so to speak. I chose to do the inner healing. And not let negative or fearful, fearful thoughts... Get the best of me. I don't play the victim card. Or I don't blame others for my failures. I don't make excuses for myself. Instead, I learn to take responsibility. I learn to take responsibility for my life. That's one of the keys. Learning to take responsibility. Facing yourself. Because through your thoughts, actions, and deeds... You place yourself in those situations. You place yourself in that lack. You place yourself with that toxic person. You place yourself with those addictions that you have. Because you choose not to face your world. So you uh, embrace those addictions. 
You got to face yourself. It's one of the hardest things to do. But once you face yourself and you do inner healing, I can't stress that enough. Look within yourself and do the inner healing. When you do that, your life will change forever. One of the keys to successful life, to a successful life, or the recipe to life, is gratitude. Meaning, look at the positive aspects of your life. And be thankful and appreciative for what you have, or what you already have. So many people, I'm not trying to put blame or shame on anybody, but so many people are not grateful for what they have. Some of you guys have amazing families, but you put excuses or you push blame on them or you keep replaying that victim card because your parents didn't do something for you at a certain time. Stop. Guys, I grew up with a father with a father that wasn't in my life. And when I was younger, I put all the blame on him. I was angry. I was bitter. But I learned, you know what, to let it go. Because it was affecting me negatively. I stopped playing that victim. Well, I did this and this action because I didn't have a father in my life to show me the right way. I have many experiences that are not so pleasant. But I don't go, hey, my life is falling apart. Poor pitiful me. This person did this to me. This person did that to me. That is why I'm not successful. That is why I choose to smoke herb all day. Or I binge drink all day. And guys, I don't care about your addictions or anything. It's If you that's what makes you happy, that's what makes you happy. I'm not trying to pass judgment. I'm trying to just get through to your consciousness. It's time to awaken. Most people are always focusing on the things they don't have. Are you focusing on the things that you don't have? Stop making excuses. Stop being in that fear mindset. Because all that gets you is more lack in your life. All that gets you is more lack in your life. All that gets you is more failure in your life. Back in the day, I started a path. I started on the path of self mastery. I would wake up and and or or well, before I started the path of self mastery, I would wake up and not be grateful. I would not be in a state of gratitude or appreciation. I wouldn't be in a state of positivity or positive thinking. I would, I would wake up and say to myself, I want this. I want that. We all done it. Like, I want, I want, I want. I need. I don't have enough money. I'm broke. I would be in a state of a fearful thinking or in a lower state of vibrational frequency. I would blame others for my failures. When you tell the universe, I want this or I want that, you're sending a signal to the universe that you don't have what you desire. You are sending a signal to the universe that you don't have what you don't desire. Therefore, you are telling the universe that you're in lack. So what does the universe give you? More lack. Because... You're in a state of fear because you're always complaining. You're always making excuses for yourself. So just so by you being in that excuses mindset or that lack and fear mindset, you attract more of that to you, more negativity. When, like I see people all the time, like I always get toxic partners. Or I always get people that just want to use me. Well, you are sending that out into the universe through your mind. And then you attract more of that to you. Change your thinking. From here on out, I attract nothing but positive, loving people. I attract people that are going to stay by my side and always be there for me. I attract people who are always going to be loving, caring, and compassionate. I always attract people who choose to become the best version of themselves. Change your thinking. Change your words, your actions and deeds. Once you start being in a state of gratitude and being thankful, then you're sending a signal to the universe that you have. I'm going to repeat that. Once you start being in a state of gratitude and being thankful and appreciative for what you have, 
then you're telling the universe that you already have. When you start appreciating the abundance that you already have, even if it's not that much, if you just appreciate what you already have, that you already have abundance, you attract more abundance because you're thankful and grateful. When you start appreciating those friends or lovers that are family in your life that are loving and caring and are there for you, and you start appreciating, appreciating that and being thankful for that, you start attracting more of that to you. So a lot of people have this program because what is certain things in your mind or your thoughts are programs. And some people have a constantly running loop in their mind. And, and that program is called, I was born in this environment, so I'm stuck where I'm at, what I, where I'm at. I was born in this environment, so I can't, I can only be, be in this environment and these people. You always play the, I can't, I can't, I can't. You're making excuses for yourselves. I'm not good enough. I will always be poor. I'm not talented enough. This person did that, or, or this person did this to me. That is why my life is falling apart. This programming is fearful thinking. The complaining mindset. And that the thought that you'll never achieve greatness or because or you'll never become the best version of yourself keeps playing in your mind over and over again. We give ourselves a whole list, a whole list of excuses for why things can't work or won't work. And guess what? If you keep in that program, that same loop in your life, those same decisions, same choices, same actions. That's all you're going to get is I can't, I can't. More failure, more failure, more mistakes, more mistakes. So it's time for you to become the greatest version of yourselves, guys. It is time for you to become the greatest version of yourselves. Words, thoughts, and actions are energy. You can speak what you want into existence. That's what I do. I say I'm going to live my best life every day. I choose to have nothing but positive, loving experiences every day. I choose to attract nothing but amazingness in my life. You know, I talk about words. So there's people out there who always criticize and talk badly about others. Well, guess what? That's going to lead you. People are going to always criticize and talk badly about you. When you're always putting the blame, shame, and guilt on other people, and you're not taking accountability for your actions, if you're always flaking on people, if you're always using people, you're going to be flaked on. You're going to be used. So be mindful of your words. I always try to say positive stuff. Even when people done me wrong or hurt me, I don't sit there and be like, this person did that, you know, because I can. I'm totally capable, but I choose not to give in to that. Why? It's not worth my time to waste my time and energy speaking badly or ill of other people. What's the point? I choose to be the best version of myself. That means I choose to, when I become the best version of myself, I'm going to help others become the best version of themselves. So I choose to only speak good words. If I sit around, if I'm in an environment and someone's talking negative, guess what? I hear that and I walk away. And I choose not to be in a, in a surrounding or with somebody, or hang out with somebody who's always in that state of, you know, pushing negativity on other people. What does that say about a person who can easily talk ill or make, even some of them make up things. You know, they make up lies and stuff to belittle somebody. Why do you want a person like that in your life? I choose not to. When you come into my life, you better come correct. You better, you know, like, I don't... We all have our faults and mistakes, you know, we're all growing in this world, but I want positivity. I want love. I can't have someone that constantly is draining or in that lack negative state of mind because all it does is it just takes my battery and just drains it. So words, thoughts, and your actions create. What are you creating for you in this life? I hear a lot of people tell me about their sad story. Or the poor pitiful me story 
or they play that victimization card. This person did that. This person did this. Guys, you put yourself in that situation. You chose that toxic environment. You know, something in you said, this person is not treating me right, but yet you choose to stay with that person. You know, get, come on, wake up, my friends. You choose that. So in a way, you were victimizing, victiming yourself. That sad story that's repeating in your life, that loop that's always happening, that those failures that are always happening, those mistakes are always happening, is because you are putting yourself, in a way, in those environments. You're choosing those people. You're choosing your lower nature. You're choosing to be the victim. Let's face it. Some people like being the victim. And the reason they play that victim card or that poor pitiful me because they gain attention. They get a affection from it. Because some people don't know what another person is doing and they just give in and like, oh, let me help you. And then they just use and use and use a person because they're like, oh, my life's falling apart. Give me money. And some people like to do that. And it's okay if they want to live that lifestyle. But it's, you, you could also change and empower yourself. Because living that life, why? Why always be in a low vibrational state or in a place of sadness, depression, lack, victim, victimhood, or poor pitiful me? It's, guys, it's from, from being an awakened person or seeing that, it's like, it's sad to see people like that. that. That's how they survive or that's how they thrive. And where you could change your life and you could thrive even better. You can choose to say positive words, positive actions, positive deeds, and become the greatest version of yourself. And then you can blossom, and then your world will change overnight. And you can have just nothing but amazing, successful situations in your life. People don't realize when you're in that victimization, or in that poor pill for me, when you're in that state of mind, being in your lower, lower vibration, all you're doing is bringing more of that into your life. I'm not inspired. I'm not uplifted when somebody's sitting there telling me their, so their sob story. I'm not impressed when someone's complaining over and over again and tells me this, this happened to me, that happened to me, blah, 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 blah. That's not inspiring. That's not uplifting. But you know what does inspire me? What uplifts me? What impresses me? So when a person becomes their best version of themselves, when a person stops being in the victim, being the victim of their circumstances and choose to rise above it, when a person begins to be mindful of their words, actions, and deeds, and uses their inner power, they become successful. When I see someone who like was at the bottom of that mountain and then chooses, hey, you know what? I'm going to do the hard work. I'm going to change myself and become the best version of myself. And the next thing I see is they're on top of that mountain and everything's aligning for them. They got that good lover. They got that dream house. They got that good car. They got that good career. I love people's stories. The people who chose to fight through their life challenges, their inner turmoil, and not let them defeat them. Or destroy them, but they chose to change themselves and rise above. That is an inspiring story, and that's the difference between those who ha who those people who have ha who have and those who have not. The ones who have not, they stayed in that lower vibrations. Every day they wake up and make excuses for themselves. Every day they binge watch Netflix for eight hours straight. Every day they smoke that herb. Every day they go out and cl a club club and drink and binge drink and party every day they hang out with more people that are in lack the, they hang out with more people who, ha, who are in the have nots and those people that ha, who are in the haves they woke up and they put in the hard work they put in the action they wanted that house so they took the action necessary and they pulled out the hammer and started making that dream a reality because it's hard work it's stressful. But when you become successful, when you put in the hard work, you have abundance because you create abundance for you. People over here, the have-nots, they think about abundance. 
but they choose not to have it because they don't do the work. They sit there and bum around. They use others. They manipulate others for their gain, gain, and they'll never have a full cup because all they're doing is siphoning it for somebody else. You, If you want a full cup, you want a full, happy, joyful life, you have to learn to fill your own cup. Fill your own cup. Once you do that, when your cup is full, when you're in a high vibrational state, you attract people with a full cup in a higher vibration state. And then you guys learn, if it's romantic or whatever, you grow together and you both fill each other's cup and then you have an amazing life. Guys, to be honest, I don't care about how hard your life was. And that may be triggering to some of you. I don't care. I don't allow that lower vibrational thinking into my existence. I don't care how hard your life was. We all have had tough challenges and hardships. My friends, I've been through a lot. I could give you the a mile long of the porn pill for me act. And some of that stuff that happened to me, you guys would be shocked and amazed what I've gone through. But I don't let that bring me down. I don't let that. No, I choose to be the champion of my life. Instead of hitting that canvas, instead of throwing in that towel, I choose to be the champion and I go all 12 rounds and I wear that championship belt. I've been to the hardships, my friends. But instead of playing the victim or throwing a pity party, I chose to change my life. I stopped making excuses for myself. I chose to take responsibility. I chose to take responsibility for my actions and deeds. That's one of the hardest things is some people don't want to take responsibility for their life. You chose, you keep repeating that same cycle of lack. You choose to keep spending all your money or money on herb. Or you keep going out three or four times a week and binge drinking. And then you wake up and you're like, why, did, why don't I have no money? Because you're choosing to feed your addictions. And it's okay, guys. We all have our addictions. You choose to hurt people all the time. For those, because a lot of people in the victim, vic, who play the victim card, who are in the excuses, are always... They tend to victimize others. Do you, seriously, take a look at your life. Do you, you've been victimized. You've been hurt by others. So you leave invisible scars on other people. And it's the saddest thing because you see it all the time. And then that same person who hurts somebody else comes and runs to another person and says, puts all the blame, shame, and guilt, or everything on that person like well the reason i'm not with them is because they did this 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 and this and that other person could have been the most loving caring compassionate person because but you were in a place of selfishness you were in a place of fear you were in that lower vibrational state it's funny because some you know some people find a really good person find a loving comparing compassionate person and then they think when they're with them, like they that vibrate that high vibrational energy rubs off on them, and they think, "Hey, I I finally figured out my life." And then they, you know, and then they absorb the other person's energy, and then they're like, "Hey, I'm good. I could go." And then they jump to somebody else. They think the grass is greener on their self. They think that they acquired that divine presence within them. And guess what? They realize once they leave, lost that good person, the good loving can prepare comparing person that the divine presence was within them and now they're sitting there sad and depressed in their room smoking herb or binge drinking hanging around toxic people hurting inside because they know intuitively that they lost somebody amazing and that they don't have that divine presence they thought the grass was greener on the other side and then they jump around to other partners and they're or people because they think that that those people could fill their cup that's not the case, guys. You fill your cup. When you hurt and victimize other people, then that's what you're going to bring into your life. When you make excuses, when you hurt other people, that's you guys got to wake up. Stop making excuses. Stop being in that lack mentality. Stop burning bridges. Learn to build the bridge.
Learn to build the bridge. Take those actions. Words, thoughts, and actions create your reality. What are you creating? What are you creating, my friends? I want all of you guys to be the king and queen of your life. Meaning, when you walk in with confidence, even if you have shadow work to do and you got guilt, trauma, pain, and hurt within you, learn not to shut it off and just, just you know, block it. You got to learn to clear, clear it. Use that as a fuel to better your life. That's what I do, guys. I'm unstoppable. I am successful. You know, yes, I'm not a millionaire, but mil I say yet because positive thinking. I, I, I will be a millionaire. I am a millionaire. I'm, I got a heart of gold, guys. I have friends that are just amazing. I have a family that's amazing because I choose to experience that in my life. I am loved. I have loving partners or friendships, and I attract nothing but the best. What do you attract in your life? Are you in a lower vibrational state or a higher vibrational state? Stop with the belittling of others. Stop trying to bring other people's names into the dirt. Stop being in that drama. Because all that is, is you're, you're going to have, that just creates more excuses, more lack, more negativity in your life. Instead, be the king and queen of your life. I am positive. I am loving. I am blessed with abundance. I am successful. I have a loving, committed companion. I have a loving family. I love you guys. Uh, don't let life defeat you. Take all that fire inside you and just use it as a fuel to become the greatest version of yourselves. I hope this resonated with you guys. Please like, share, and subscribe if you found it helpful. And for those who this video might have triggered, I don't mean to do it be harsh. But sometimes when we're sleeping... And we're stuck in that sleepiness. Sometimes uh, somebody has to come along and throw a bucket of water on you. Meaning to startle you, to awake, shake you up. Because you, you're not learning from your life lessons. You're not learning from your life lessons. And then you choose to be complacent. You choose to stay in that same toxic pattern in life because... You're too afraid or you don't want to do the work to, to get out of that toxic situation or that toxic life. In a way, you're addicted to it. But you could overnight have such amazing life. You have to just do the hard work. You have to cut all those toxic ties out of your life. You have to embrace the person or the people in your life that truly love you. And hold on to them with dear life. You got to place yourself in those environments that are uplifting and inspiring. And then cut out all those environments that keep you in your lower nation, or nature or lower vibrational state. You choose what you want. You choose what you want, my friends. God bless you. I wish you the best.